Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Prometheus. Welcome back to a brand new video. What are we got today? It's my manga review for Battle Royale. Battle Royale is a 15 volume seinen series put out by Tokyo Pop and you know what that means. But luckily for me, I was able to get this full set for an amazing price and I've been reading it for the past couple days and now I'm finished with it. So I decided to do a manga review on this amazing series. So if you guys do enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more manga reviews just like this. Yeah, without further ado, let's get right into it. So the manga takes place in Japan and there are a lot of different things from modern day Japan as there are in this manga. There are a lot of uh, restrictions on things such as rock and roll is banned. I believe access to the internet is not really given to normal citizens. But the main striking difference is this thing called the program and it's like a lottery, not the kind of lottery that you want to win. Basically every year a high school class is chosen to compete in the program which is basically a battle royale, you know, free for all. They basically give every student in class a duffel bag with weapons and provisions and put them out on this island where they can go duke it out and the last one to survive wins the program. And this whole thing is like a game that's being televised throughout Japan. It's like this huge spectacle. It's basically like the Super Bowl times 10. So right off the bat, you know this manga is going to be super f***ed up and trust me, it is. So the main character of the manga is Shuya and he's this kid who's an orphan and he lives at this orphanage basically with his friend Yoshi. And they're getting all excited to go on this class field trip with the whole class. So they're looking forward to the next day. They got on the bus and all of a sudden they start going to sleep. And uh, yeah, they put some gas on the bus and basically they kidnap this entire class to go compete in this program. So when they wake up, Shui and his classmates are in this strange classroom on this deserted island basically where the program is going to take place and they all have these collars around their necks which uh, actually prevent them from escaping and they blow up if you don't kill anybody in 24 hours or if you enter these designated danger areas on the map, you know, your head will just explode because of the collar. The collars also record your voice which is just a way for them to broadcast this program. It's basically like being mic'd up at all times. So not only are they violating your basic human rights, they're also violating your privacy. Now I can't really go any deeper into the plot because Right at this moment, people actually start dying, like from the class, so I'm not gonna give anything away, but people just start dying right off the bat, and it's really a shock right from the beginning. So the main drama in this manga is that there's some students who are not playing, such as Shuya and this band of people that he rounds up after he gets out into the game, you know, they decide we're not gonna kill anybody, we're not gonna play the game, we're not gonna give in to the system. And on the other hand, there's some kids who do the exact opposite, that meaning that they kill people because they love it, or they kill people because they just want to survive and win the game. And you see throughout the manga how certain friendships and bonds are just torn apart because of the game, you know, people are just pitted and turned on each other just for the sake of this game. And believe me when I say nobody is safe, you know, people are dying left and right, lots of people per volume, so there's just constant deaths and it really does keep you on your toes. So the first thing I really like about Battle Royale is the amazing gore and the action. This series is not for the faint of heart because the gore in this manga is just so grotesque, it's probably the grossest and most violent I've ever seen in any manga ever. This manga is not afraid to show you a close-up of someone getting shot in the face and just their brains exploding out of the back of their head, their fingers getting blown off, fingernails getting peeled back, just blood spurting everywhere. There's really no limits to what this manga will do. Now, actually about a year ago, I was in Half Price Books and I found the first volume and I was flipping through it and I was absolutely repulsed by the violence and the gore, so I actually didn't buy it. But uh, now since I've read some other manga on my shelf that have a uh, considerable amount of violence, you know, it's kind of numbed me down. So I really did enjoy the gore this time around. Trust me, I'm not a psychopath. It's just really well drawn and it really does immerse you in and make you feel like the danger is very real for all these characters. And alongside the gore, the action is also very well executed. There are these shootouts between characters, you know, where people are just spraying machine guns at each other. There's also psychological scenes with these intense standoffs where people will just be staring at each other, thinking about what their next movie is going to be before they start spraying each other down. The constant drama and action are something that really kept me reading this manga and kept me constantly engaged. And another thing I really like about this manga is the concept. Now, obviously in today's day and age, the concept of a battle royale is nothing new. If anything, it's overdone at this point. But I'd say battle royale is probably an early addition to this whole idea. You know, it's obviously not the first thing, at least not to my knowledge. And it does a lot of things that you see in things now, such as, you know, Fortnite, PUBG, you know, with these danger zones, as well as looting off people you kill and taking their items and their weapons. You know, you see all these things in this manga and it's kind of cool to know that this is where a lot of those ideas came from. Sometimes while I was reading this, I would put myself in the shoes of Shuya and I would just think about, you know, what if I was in a situation where if my high school class got put into this battle royale, it's just really terrifying thinking about, you know, people you think are your friends just turning on you just for the sake of the game. The concept of this manga is literally what nightmares are made of and that's definitely portrayed in the manga itself. And after I got done reading, I kind of realized that it's kind of messed up how, you know, in this manga, they're always talking about how it's so messed up that people are watching this all happen and unfold for entertainment, but I'm actually getting a lot of enjoyment from reading this manga, which is just about kids killing their classmates. And you know what that means? If you enjoy Battle Royale, you are a horrible person, so congratulations. But in all seriousness, the concept of this manga is very interesting, very horrifying, and something that I really enjoyed reading about. As for the characters, there are a lot of memorable characters and characters that I really enjoyed a lot. And there are also a fair amount of characters that I just absolutely did not care about at all. 
and I really feel like clogged up the series. Some characters that I really liked were Kawada, Mimura, Sugimura, you know, these really interesting characters that have cool things about themselves, such as one is a martial artist, and one is actually someone who was playing the game before and got sent back to play it the next year. You really do find yourself rooting for these characters, even though they're all kind of pitted against each other in this game. Some of them band together, and other characters like Kazuo, you know, they're just trying to go out and kill as many people as possible, while still being an interesting character. And then on the other side of the coin, you have a plethora of characters that I just did not give two shits about. Some that they even tried to give like backstories that lasted like several pages just for them to end up dying. And I was like, was I supposed to care about that person? You know, I feel like at times the manga wants you to feel for these random ass characters that get 20 pages of backstory and then get popped in the face. Like, no, I really don't have a connection to those characters. And it just seems like a waste of time. They're trying to build them up just to die. And for that reason, I feel that the first two or three volumes are just kind of a rough start, you know? Obviously, it's not too boring, but there's a lot of pacing issues, I feel, with these introductions to characters and backstory for characters that are really meaningless. But while this is all going on, again, there's still action, there's still violence, and they're still building up for these characters that actually matter, like the ones I mentioned earlier. And another thing about the characters that I want to mention is that the main character, Shuya, throughout the entire manga, maybe I'm missing something, but there are only a couple instances where he actually like does anything meaningful at all. Obviously because he's not playing the game, he's not just going out and looking for people to kill. So most of his time is just spent staking out with this group and his people who are also not playing the game. And he doesn't get involved in a whole lot of action himself until the very end. And for that reason, I felt myself liking a lot of these side characters like Kawada and Mamura a lot more than the actual main character Shuya. And that's not to say he's unlikable, but just that he didn't really get involved with anything again until the very end. So for the majority of the manga, he's just, you know, sitting around, staking out, not doing anything, just kind of talking and adding to the dialogue. And I also want to mention the art style, which is actually kind of polarizing. And I will agree, there's some parts where it looks kind of awkward, and especially the way that he draws children's faces. It looks like their heads are just way too big for their bodies. They almost look like bobbleheads in a way. So I can agree that sometimes it is a little bit jarring to see that. And as well as some of the other character faces just like look cartoonish, almost overly cartoonish. But for the most part, I really didn't have a problem with the art style in this manga. If anything, I really enjoyed it because it's very detailed. There's lots of good shading. And uh, yeah, especially with the characters' faces and the action sequences, the art style really does add this level of intensity to all the action and then the intense sequences, you know, where people are just staring each other down. So if I was a genius mangaka and I could draw any art style I wanted, you know, I definitely wouldn't draw some of the faces like he does or some of the character models like he does. But for the most part, I think it's excellently drawn. And it's just a small amount of time with some of the characters who are drawn in a certain cartoonish way that kind of does take you out of it a little bit. So if you've seen some weird looking panels out of context, I definitely would not let that scare you away from reading this manga. So overall, what do I like about Battle Royale? I really love the art style and the gore, you know, just being so over the top really does bring the personality out of this manga. There are also some really badass characters that I really did end up loving for better or for worse. And the concept of this manga is very interesting and well executed as well as being very influential for the coming generations of Battle Royale, such as the video games that we see so often today. And some things I didn't quite like about are the little bit of a rocky start in the first couple of volumes, as well as a couple instances of the art style aren't really my taste. And there were a couple of times I thought that the pacing kind of slowed down a little bit more than it should have for some dialogue, kind of felt like it was at a standstill before you could get back into the action. But overall, in my opinion, Battle Royale is an absolutely amazing Amazing manga. It has one of my favorite manga endings of all time and just throughout this whole manga except for the first couple of volumes you know it's just a non-stop throw ride with constant gore constant action basically everything your parents tried to protect you from in the past is in this manga and that makes it so awesome well it does have a few flaws i think that battle royale is an amazing seinen series that's a quick read and very easy to binge through with all that being said my final score of battle royale is an 8 out of 10 very good series has a couple of flaws but overall just absolutely astounding series if you're looking for a fast-paced hyper-violent seinen definitely go check out gantz and then Battle Royale. So guys, that's going with this manga review for Battle Royale. If you guys enjoy it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more manga videos just like this. So yeah, this has been the Promji. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. And as always, hope to catch you in the next one.